He, what he says is, don't be content with simply doing wudu. There are Muslims now, when they go into the, the, the bathroom, they just, it's just this quick thing, and, and they see it as something they have to do before they do wudu. My own teacher, Marabtar Haj in the Sahara, I used to do wudu next to him, and he, on average, would take about 10 minutes to do wudu. It was really quite extraordinary to watch him do wudu. And I realized from his wudu that for him it was an act, act of ibadah. He was not simply doing a ritual. He was actually experiencing, because we know that the Prophet ﷺ said, when you rinse your mouth, the sins of your tongue flow out with the water. In the Shafi'i Madhab, the water of wudu is considered polluted. You can't actually use it. You have to dump it, water plants with it, but you can't drink it or use it because it, it's, it's polluted by the sins that have been washed away. And so Imam al-Ghazali is arguing that there are secrets to purification. And he says that when the Prophet said, at tahur shatur al-Iman, purification is half of this religion, he said, do not think that he is talking about this water ritual that we do. He is talking about purifying the heart. This is, this is what he's talking about. And this is only symbolic of that purification. And, and he talked about a man, the Prophet ﷺ said, what do you say about a man who lives beside a river and bathes in the river five times a day? Will you see any filth on him? And they said, certainly not, Ya Rasulullah. And he said, this is like the man who washes himself and then prays five times a day. This is what he is doing. In other words, what the outward washing is to the body, the inward reality is to the soul. 